Okay, folks, we're gonna try this again because Facebook just cut off the last one. I think it's because we were going down a street where the signal changes. So anyway, we're in New York City. We're on our way to the theater, Hubby and I. Oop, there he is. And I wanted to come in and talk to you for a minute until we, whoops, get up there. Why is it so bumpy? I wish I had something to stabilize this. So I wanted to come in and talk to you about maybe something that you're very akin to like me because if you're like me you've been around the block in your business i know i started focus on style online in 1999 it is just about reaching 20 years online so in 20 years online i learned a lot of stuff about online business i've seen the market go up i've seen the market go down i've seen the market swoop change i i know myself that i went from being a magazine type site it was a spin-off from my syndicated fashion column that went out to uh, 400 papers each week it was a continuation of my 15 years as a stylist i've been um a, an entrepreneur since i could crawl pretty much but what happened was a few years ago i think it's about um five years ago or so five or six i was on a plane on my way to my vacation house in jackson hole wyoming and i picked up a copy of success magazine and i never really read it before and there was this article and a full page ad from brendan burchard and you might just want to say that brendan burchard was my starter drug in working with business coaches and i loved brendan i still do i was actually listening to his podcast again yesterday i've gone to oh a handful of his events and taken a bunch of his courses and i just spent that first weekend when i got to know him just digesting ingesting everything i could i signed up for everything on his site i read it i watched all the videos i did everything and i'm like this is experts academy this is me well i'm like an expert duh right i've been a number one for fashion expert in google for 10 years online i'm known in the industry as a style expert for i don't know 20 something years like i'm an expert this is my academy and it kind of put all the stuff together for me it really did and of course they sell stuff there and at that point I'm like well I gotta go up and follow that Jeff Walker formula I gotta get my product launched together so I took that and I ended up through the years taking all sorts of courses I mean I probably have invested over hundred thousand dollars in business coaching I've worked closely with Suzanne Evans and Larry Winget I have am presently working with Frank Kern in a couple of different programs I've taken classes from I've been in B school with Marie Forleo I've worked with Shaleen Johnson in her programs well not personally but just with Shalene in the programs so I have a list of so many people I can't even remember how many programs I've bought through the years and how many things I've taken to really learn the tactics of funnels of product launches of just marketing creating a website that sells creating a membership site creating the membership program itself doing coaching calls doing landing pages doing um, opt-ins freebies freemiums small packages small programs high programs learning how to speak from the stage learning how to sell from the stage learning how to get a one-minute speech that is a dumb thing but that always works well when you start doing these online things it works a lot more in here I mean I've done everything and I can't say that one thing of all those things was the answer but it was you know I could have probably gone to Harvard B school for that money but I really learned from experts how to put things together I learned there was a lot of programs that I was far more advanced than what they were offering I went as in a lot of programs that I thought were a crock of crap and there were other ones that I thought were fantastic and some of those really big marketing guys they're really big for a reason and that's because they're not selling you their shizzle they're not taking their last dime from you because they know they'll make you sell it's because they're believing in what they're doing and they're showing you their real-time results of what they're doing and you need to then take that and model that and figure that out into your business right but what I also noticed in working in so many groups and and 
being in online communities and also investing some time going back and forth in masterminds and retreats and businesses is that I was really also kind of talking to the wrong person, to the wrong customer, that I was offering something that was a little more um, high level, big picture, um, more, more, uh, advanced in a sense, then they were able to digest. So even though they just spent $20,000 in some coaching program, they were missing the stuff light screen because they were putting the cart before the horse. They were getting all the tactics, all the strategies together, but they weren't knowing how to show up. They weren't creating a brand. They were putting together pieces in a puzzle and that puzzle was missing the main thing that made it stick out. And that's how people see you in your business. That's your brand. That's how you connect this way. Sure, if someone's teaching you how to go hold the camera like this on a phone and go live in Facebook, but are they teaching you how to show up? How to be seen as somebody who's believable? If they're teaching you to speak from the stage and you're showing up as a schlump a dump, well, you know, people are gonna do a big yawn when you get up there and not listen to you and are they teaching you how to speak from the stage but failing to tell you that those big stages cost like 30 grand to speak on and smaller ones can cost like seven to ten thousand dollars so maybe you're learning all these speaking things but um you know do you want to spend that money going to speak and then you really want to sell are you a keynote speaker do you really want to be traveling all over the place you really want to be traveling to those cities because that's you know a big part of the business so what happens is also when you're doing a product launch you know you're selling it to your email list you're doing those three set three videos in a sales video and you're selling it to your email list but duh 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 guys whoops i'm on a pile that um ooh, let me turn this around for a sec hold on look You see these new buildings here? They're awesome. So anyway, what's happening is email is not what it used to be. People are telling you experts. I mean, you listen to even the Frank Kearns free stuff. He's telling you email is dying. And anyone who's not telling you it's dying is not telling you the truth. I mean, I know we've, oh, there's a Neiman Marcus opening up here. Whoa, I didn't know. Um, let me show you this building. This is a very cool part of town. So anyway, back back to the story. Anyone who's telling you that email is strong and the strength is in your list is giving you information that's a few years old because people are bombarded with so much information online and so much stuff in their e inbox that they don't open it. Plus, you know, a few years ago when Google started that promotions folder, <laughs> People don't get half your emails and then no one really reads it anymore. So yeah, if someone's really engaged with you, they will open it up. But I can tell you right now, I am not gonna lie. Our email is pretty sucky to what it used to be and it's not unusual. So all those launch strategies from a few years ago, well, they don't work that much anymore. So here's what it is. I learned that you really need to have a brand. I learned that you need to be in front of your business as a brand. I learned you need to be connecting more and that's what I'm gonna be doing for the next month is I'm really gonna be on here with you talking to you about things and helping you grow and helping you with value and getting to know me more. I'm also spending more money in advertising. I'm not lying on that one. And that is to really find people who want to hear me rather than be talking to the audience that really needs my help but doesn't know it and it's too high level for them and we're both wasting each other's time. So if you wanna learn how to really connect with your brand, how to build a star power brand, how to take everything I've learned from the 100 grand or so that I've spent in business coaching to the 20 years that I'm gonna be online to what's working for me now, how I changed my business from being a magazine blog. Be, listen, I started before there was even a word blog to turning it into a personality brand rather than hiding behind the brand to learning how to do my own photos, to create my own videos, to showing up beyond the style. Because what people often forget is I may be in style, I may have started out as a stylist, but my degree is in marketing 
marketing and business. And, you know, that's what's fueled me all these years and every career turn I did. My first job was writing a press release for a manhole cover epoxy company. And let me tell you, it's not that different to write for manhole cover epoxies as it is for style boat covers or to create a business plan or to create a business branding, a star power branding for someone like you and me because we're still selling something and we need to connect. So if you think this is something that would benefit you and help you, um, I put a link in this post below and before I go away, I'm going to be traveling a lot this month. I open up about nine spots on my calendar right now as I'm recording this. You'll see more in there, but they're not really more because there's an overlap on them. So if you take like the 110, no one else can book until the next one after it, but there's really slots for nine. So um, one of them already went before er went earlier and uh, I just did this today and I invite you to get on the phone and talk and let's see what we can do and where you're at and if I can help you more on a one-on-one -on -one level so that you don't have to have as many business coaches as I have that you don't have to spend as much money in your business at, as I did and really figure out how to connect on the first level like this so um it's application you're gonna this way it's gonna go is you're going to go to focusonstyle.com star power sc that's the link focusonstyle.com star power sc it's in this post and you're going to just opt in and name an email no big whoop you're going to be taken right away to my calendar for this week and you'll have a application on the calendar you'll book a time and uh during business hours my team and i will review the applications and if I think you're a fit we'll keep the call we'll go on and you'll just be ready to get the call there'll be no other communication just be ready to get on the, the call with me I prefer Skype and um, if you want to do phone that's cool too and if we don't think you're a fit or at the level right now where we should be talking and I don't want to waste your time I don't want to waste my time we will recommend something else for you right now including some free things as well so by all means I encourage you to take the link below focus on style.com strategy no focus on style.com star power sc it's in this post so like just look at this post you'll see it and spend some time because you know i learned a lot online i learned a lot from these people and um there's, you get something from everything. You know, when it gets to shopping and I was a stylist, sometimes you'd go into a store and you'd be like, oh my God, there's such crap in here. And you can always find one thing. If you put your eyes open, you can always find one thing in everything and to shop but it's the same thing with all these business coaches you know sometimes they're teaching you stuff that it might not be at the level that you need at the moment so it's not useful but maybe you'll learn something in their presentation or in the way they they're deliberate or how how they relate that you can take in another way so nothing is ever bad or not worth it or whatever it is but some things provide more value at different points in your life so um if you think that everything I said here is of interest to you if you really want to take what I've learned and not make the same mistakes I did and get moving with it hey I invite you to take the call with me this week before I go away and have a very happy new year and let's really just take 2019 and like drive it up to the stars right just drive it up to the stars do what you need to do to get seen to attract the kind of audience you want to attract you to attract your most profitable ideal audience because you might be doing everything but if you're not coming across that way you know online it's one tenth of a second to make a first impression so if you're not coming across that way in your visual messaging and your authentic storytelling then you're not going to be attracting the kind of people you want to be attracting so you're going to be trying to go high when you're attracting low or medium or just starting out so whatever it is so you, it all needs to be in sync it needs to be aligned it needs to be congruent so anyway I hope that helps I got you hope you got something out of all this right now we're gonna find a spot soon and go to the theater and maybe I'll come in later bye bye folks